My name is Liz Heineke, and I'm here to talk to you today about a book I'm writing called Kitchen Science Lab for Kids Edible Version. Now, I grew up in a house that was a cooking school. My mom actually had a cooking school in our house and a house of science because my dad is a physicist. So today as an adult, I'm still a total foodie. I cook all the time, but I talk about science every day. So I love bringing the science to the food because understanding the science behind what you're cooking gives you the tools to cook anything you want and to be the boss of their kitchen. So whether kids want to cook for their family and friends or be on a cooking competition someday, if that's their dream, this book will give them the tools to do that. And they'll learn to do everything from making a good, simple vinaigrette, which is an emulsion, to making bubble tea, which explores the science of tapioca and starch, to making fabulous desserts like a rainbow tie-dye roll cake with beautiful meringue mushrooms. I wrote this book with allergies in mind, so there are no nuts in the book, which parents will love. I also am going to have symbols in each recipe indicating whether we use dairy, eggs, or wheat. So people can choose recipes that they want. If your kids have allergies, you could do things like make sorbet, make homemade fruit roll-ups. There are so many things you can do no matter who you are. Um, I also have lots of trendy projects in the book, including mirror glazes, which you will see on all the Food Network and um, British Baking Show. It's a shiny glaze you can put on a cake that uses the science of gelatin. The photos in the book are all beautiful. They show kids making the food and they show everything is actually done by kids. So although everything is beautifully styled by kids, nothing is perfect. And this is important because kids who are going through the book and making things won't feel like a Pinterest fail. They'll feel like they nailed it every time. So. In conclusion, learning the basics of food science and cooking is sort of like learning the scales in music. Once you've mastered the basics, you can create a symphony.